Okay, another letter. His trip to Rio. Don't mention who it is. Okay. I wanted to assure you... Who are we talking about? The world. The world. The quick recognition by His Holiness, and that's Pope Benedict XVI, that I am Christ is preordained and not based... <laughs> Not based on the proofs I have compiled for decades. Ah! 30 right. years. 30 years or more. Toil, time. However. Plus 30 years before that. Yes. Living it. Well, not only that, I had to remember it all and, mm. and see what the hell was going on. Mm. Wake up to it, if you like. And, and then, of course, Mary helped when I was 16. Then I told me I was Jesus. That didn't uh, and then in go an, down real well. In a nanosecond. One look at the photograph beside the Shroud of Turin. That's him! <laughs> <laughs> However, it's all supposed to be that way. Now Rio. We'll keep coming back to Rio throughout this. The Statue of Jesus sits at a location which is 10,084.5 10, miles from a circle of waypoints that I revealed several years ago with a satellite program, that being Magellan Discover Australia. With this program, I was able to measure the Earth ac accurately one cannot use Google Earth. It is purposely flawed to alter distances as the due world order is aware I measure the Earth to prove myself. This is why I say His Holiness Benedict XVI is preordained to recognize me. Therefore, in this letter, I will explain how this is a means for identifying myself as the Creator, Jesus and Christ. I was a bit taken back with His Holiness, Holiness Benedict XVI when he, we were talking via email, and he had to go off during Holy Week when he was talking directly to God. Mrs. Marshall and I were stunned. We're a bit, hello. However, it's just like the, uh, the natives in Fiji or New Guinea, where it would be. They're talking to God and they've still got to go to church. Now, by measuring the earth, my creation, I had to have a means for converting distance to words or numbers to words. The tools I use are the King James Version of the 1611 Bible and the 1830s James Strong's Concordance of the Hebrew and Greek words listed in the Old and New Testaments of the KJV 1611. Example, where I was born on January 11, 1944 at St. Margaret's Catholic Maternity Hospital in Sydney, Australia, the distance from there to the South Pole is 3,877 miles and that number, 3,877, is the number of verses that contain the word God in the Freemason King James 1611 Bible. Then 14 days after, so now we're on January the 25th, 1944, a solar eclipse occurred along the 25 degree latitude marginally below the Great Pyramid at Giza, which is my altar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt, as referred by Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 19, verses 19 and is the altar to the Lord for this day now in the midst of Egypt. It is his witness to himself and it's a, memo it's a record, a memorial and a reminder to himself in the wilderness down on the earth uh, who he is. Okay, so the measure of the distance from that solar eclipse to my rebirth home at 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebury, Sydney, Australia identifying the devil and man is 8888.8 miles. That number, 888, is the Gematria in Greek for Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ Greek Gematria is 3168, being Lord 800, Jesus 888, plus 1480 for Christ. Add them all together and you get 3168. So remember these numbers, they are key. A lot of people have been saying, um, you know, they've been noticing the 888 all over the place more recently. Well, this is why. Jesus. So we have 204 solar eclipses spelling out who I am when measured to my rebirth location, where I lived until I was 942 days old. Why 942 days old? Because the name Jesus is found in 942 verses of the KJV 1611 Bible. 204 are the number of masonry layers that make up the Great Pyramid. 202 are complete, and the last two are just stones piled on top of the other, but they have to be counted. 
So, the date I was reborn, January the 11th, 1944, aligns with the 50th layer of masonry and is the floor to the king's chamber. I cannot go through all eclipses here, however, I will give some examples. There were two solar eclipses following, one in January 1963 and another in November 2012, that was the last one last year, the 202nd layer. Both of them measured 942 miles from that home. Pick a year and the locations of eclipses are all revealing numbers pertaining to myself, he being Christ. For example, two are 5547 and Christ concordance number. And the 8.88 solar eclipse of 1944 mentioned above, when you measure from where it occurred and back to my current home in Tugum, Queensland, Australia, it spells out Almighty God. And that, of course, in Tugum is where Pope Benedict XVI began his communication with me, the Christ. Rio. Pardon? Almighty God. Almighty God. Well, he, that's what he said. Jesus oh, uh, Christ Almighty. Jesus oh, you, me, Jesus, you, <laughs> Jesus you, Christos. Just push it down and the thing will scroll. Mm. But that's the point. It doesn't. It, it, right. Well, see? Mm. <laughs> Sorry about that's that. That's why I piece of crap from Microsoft. <laughs> okay. So Rio. Now all these measures were found in August 2008. It was only months after Mrs. Marshall found me. As Martha, it was her purpose to look for me and find me upon the earth. So from the Jesus statue in Rio in the diagram below to the circle, I placed hundreds of waypoints through 16 countries and all show the same phenomenon. They all measure 10,084.05 miles. Isn't that supposed to be five? We've got five up the top. No, eight, four, point zero five. Well, then, now the point the being, you take the, the cursor, you put it on the Jesus statue, and you go to any of these points. As you approach it, it reaches one zero zero eight four point zero five. Now, go past it, it starts reducing. In other words, you've gone as far as you can around the world yes. with that number, and when you go past it, you're getting closer to Rio by going the other direction around the world. Yeah, it's rather amazing, isn't it? Is it is amazing. So and I to have found that point in the world where that happens. Well, that's what I do. That's the amazing living. thing. Yeah. That's the miracle. I just know where these things are. I don't have to think about it. Uh -huh. just, my problem is getting time to write it all down. Now, okay, so why? What's it all about? Multiply by pi. And, yeah, so multiply that number by pi, and it's 31680, which is Lord Jesus Christ. Now, you can also put the moon and the earth against each other, draw a circle around the turn of 31680 miles, or measure from the North Pole to the tip of South America, and it is the same number as the distance to the statue from the Rio to those points. 10084.05 miles. So the Earth is laid out on a creation synchronistic to what I want it to be. And of course, everything is relating to myself as a creator. And how I thought it up, it came into be. Like, you'll never understand it, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> don't send me any stupid emails asking questions either. Now, um, yeah, look at that, that's interesting, looking at it there now. Halfway through that circle, it's halfway through Australia. Well, that's poor. Yeah. Now, um, so all of the same distance to the Jesus statue in Rio. Do, 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 One of those marks there is 3168 kilometres from where I was born. Mm. Lord Jesus Christ, or hid, hid, hid holiness, birth to my mm. 70th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got hid, hid holiness now. <laughs> now, his holiness. This is Benedict the Sixteenth. We are talking about. He is still Pope. The Christ uh, has not accepted his resignation. You can't resign or retire from being Pope. Now, His Holiness is totally innocent, set among wolves, and the Christ's mistake, as far as they, the wolves, are concerned. The Conclave of 2005 was, so they thought, a foregone co conclusion. Bergoglio who came in second. However, they had to deal with Benedict, who pipped him at the post. And that's the Revelation 7 and 11 prophecy. If Boglio had got in, he would be the next pope, 
which would be the ruling pope forever, mm. because now we're heading in mortality, right? Mm. But because he was picked by the, at the pope, his evil pope. conclave was outsmarted, yeah. and so they thought, okay, we've got a man that's so innocent, we can fool him anyhow. They went along with it, not realising they had to fulfill prophecy. Right. It's just stupid. Okay, so reading right along, Scripture must be fulfilled. Revelation 17, 11 states, there will be seven. One will be the eighth pope. Seven, Rome will be destroyed. So this complements Catholic prophecy of Malachi. He named 111 popes and added one. The last one renamed Petrus Romanus, who is Peter. So why? Benedict had no idea. My angels caused it, meaning Peter of Rome. We're talking about Malachi, sorry. Had no idea, meaning Peter I, I like of Rome. I'd like to say that the cardinals and all these bishops and all these people think they know the Bible backwards. In actual fact, if it was compared to a pilot's requirement for a slip flying a 747, they would fly it into the nearest mountain. Because they really have no idea what prophecy is all about. They don't know how to read it, and therefore they shoot themselves in the foot. Now, I told Benedict he is the ring incarnate of Peter. It started and ends with Peter. Now, from my rebirth location to the South Pole, it measures 3875 miles. That number via the James Strong's concordance is comforter. That is, if I do not go, I cannot send the comforter who will teach you all things. I think I'm doing that. However, in the book, you will see several thousand distances in time, distances in space, or genetics. In fact, I have decades and thousands of drawings. Scholars argue the mathematical odds that Jesus fulfilled just eight prophecies. Coming up with one times 100 at, at the 153 power, I in this lifetime have proven tens of thousands of miracles. These are dates between myself and wives, children, where born, Bible numbers, repetition, and so getting these facts together had to occur after the tools were invented, the internet. And then, of course, the 14 attempts of my life in poison injected into my spine, cyanide, draining my blood while in hospital, bullets, stage truck accidents, head-on collisions, and so on. Other attempts failed by the assassins killing the wrong man who had been where they thought I was going to be, etc., etc. Now, as for your situation, faith like Benedict has is the key. Once they're mentally, you are immortal. This does not mean they cannot injure you, however, they cannot kill you. Now, the thugs for Francis watch my uploads. Hello, thugs. And You're all dead, mate, by the way. I have um, slammed you as Lucifer, so roll with that until it's over. As for... No, do we want to... Yes, I am. Okay. As for homosexuality, it's a mental condition and I can cure it, no problem. However, by saying I will cast all homosexuals off the earth into the bottomless pit... Is a diversion for the more that they hate me, the more they talk about me. In fact, one of my greatest adversaries on the internet, hello Lisa, her daughter is a lesbian. So I pulled her chain. She reacted, I told her off, don't tell God what to do, shut the fuck up. One more comment and you're banned and join her in hell, yada yada yada. <laughs> she could not resist and replied. <laughs> I banned her and she became my greatest troll. Lisa wonders. In fact, her computer had died and we purchased a laptop so I could achieve my greatest troll. She has compiled an enormous amount of my work, uploaded it, then foolishly thinks she can point out errors like spelling mistakes or some trap I left for that purpose. So by creating enemies along the way, I fulfilled... What's her real name? Oh, Lisa Bryson. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like Lisa Hatful of ourselves, isn't she? Wow. I fulfill the rejection prophecy of Psalms 118.22. In some of the drawings from Magellan satellite software, accurate to three metres, the distance from where my first wife was born to the house I grew up in, that is her bedroom to mine, 118.22 kilometres. So Psalm 118.22, quoting the stone the builders rejected, meaning man, the builders of the earth, rejects God today. The following drawing is where my third wife and I lived at number 4150 Nell Street, Greensboro, Victoria, Australia. She is Mary Magdalene. And what does the driving out of seven devils parable mean? The demon returns, or the demons return, bringing seven more, making the person more afflicted than before. For well, today she is seven times seven demonized. The home she inherited from her demon mother, who lived at what 666 Main Street, 
so the pattern you all know. I married my first wife, the town harlot, read Hosea 1 through 3, that is why. Now the completed Great Pyramid, the capstone in place, is 5813 pyramid inches high. The distance around the earth at the house latitude, that's the Nell Street one, and longitude is 31680 kilometres, and the distance to the South Pole is 5813 kilometres. So you're beginning to get the drift with the synchronicity of the numbers. We have the Lord Jesus Christ and the measure of the pyramid. The point is I had to return from Canada. Uh, I had been arrested. I was mm. supposed to stay under house arrest in Sydney. Mm. And of course I immediately went to Melbourne and found this woman. Mm. Now, what's the odds of that? Yeah. But there it is. I don't the first know. night you walked into Rembrandt's, and yeah. Yeah, where you had painted the man in the golden helmet That's years right. before, there it was in the foyer, and you go, uh uh. <laughs> there it is. Another and then you, then you spy Mary the first night in Michelle Knight. Not, uh, <laughs> not anybody else. Okay. <sighs> so now from where I was reborn, so that's the 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebury, Sydney, to the latitude of Nell Street due south is a point in the ocean. Then you measure to the Nell Street, our address is 537 kilometres, and this is the distance from the great step of the Grand Gallery in the pyramid to the far wall, 537 pyramid inches. It passes through the antechamber, it, the antechamber is 116.26 pyramid inches wide. So Mary or Michelle is 1162.6 days younger than I. My first wife I married when I was 1162.6 weeks old and via the harlot. My eldest daughter was born when I was 8880 days old in Port Alberni, Canada. When the sun rose to sunset was 888 minutes, May the 4th, 1968. Now, to the birth of her stepsister, Rhiannon, Michelle's youngest daughter, who was born on December 20th, 1979, is 11.626 years. She was born in Geelong when the sunrise, the sunset, was 888 minutes. Now, my youngest born to my first wife, the harlot, at a location 444.3 kilometres from where the first daughter was born. Houses I built. 4443 is the number of times the word God is found in the 3,877 verses, which was the distance from the hospital to the South Pole where, when he and was born. Of course, Margaret, St. Margaret, because Margaret was married to uh, Malcolm III, who was Queen of England. Yes. That's my ancestor. It's my mother's name and my middle name, my grandmother's name. And my second wife's name. There you go. Middle name. <laughs> okay. You have to put that in. Didn't you? I did absolutely. Surrounded I didn't by like her. I know it's okay, babe. It's all right. Uh, so who are we talking about? Um, so the youngest born was born November the second, nineteen seventy-seven. Is seven 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 days older than Rhiannon. Seven 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 days is two one. Sorry, two point one two seven years. So read Ezekiel 2127. It's all about overturning. Now the name Ezekiel in Hebrew is 3168, and 777 is how many word, times the word city, city is found. And of course, it ends with the holy city. That's right. Now, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2127 is the solen, solitary number in 609,000 words of the Old Testament found in 1 Chronicles 5.13. So you've got the word, it's actually Zia, 2127. Now beside it is Yakan. It is also a solitary word and is numbered 3275. So they're side by side. So, so if you did the math, you've got 600, let's say 690,000 words, 700,000 words, whatever the case may be. And you say, right, let's pick a spot and put Zia in there. Right now, you do that. Just, just <laughs> throw a dart. Now we've got another one with Yakan written on it. <laughs> Okay, Mrs. Smith, throw a dart at the board and see what you get. And it ends up right beside 2127. The mathematical odds of that is multiplying the 609,000 by 609,000 times 609,000 times 609,000 times 609,000. Well, 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 wait on. I mean, all right, that's not, that's not the great big deal. The great big deal is 
pretty good. Well, well, yeah, I mean, that, that is a big deal. Actually, it's a huge deal. However, the bigger deal is, it's the uh, age of Michelle, because we haven't told them that yet, 2127, Zia, well, Rhiannon, them, you were. the different, yeah, and so you Michelle, them no, I haven't told them yet, so, but they're reading it on the screen, so anyway, let's just move right along with this with the yarn, because I want to get to the office today. <laughs> so this is the age of Michelle, so, so yeah, right. 32.75 years old, Michelle was when she gave birth to Rihanna. So those two numbers are two numbers out of seven names listed in the first Chronicles 5.13. So when you add them all together, they all add up to 31106 or 31101 plus 5. 5 being the father, but the Julian day I was reborn on was 2431101.5 and 31101. The number of verses in the King James Bible. Now, now my brother, a pedophile pervert, sounds like what's occupying the Vatican, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. He'd mm. make a great priest. Oh. Cardinal Levin. 8.88 years older than I. So why? Sunrise to sun, moonrise was 888 minutes on January the 11th, 1944. Same as when I was born in Bethlehem, by the way. On, yes. Uh, June the 17th, 2 BC. Right. Same. Exact same. And then the 888 number being Jesus today, I, the Holy Ghost, had to be conceived with the most royal mother, Daphne Golightly. I, the father, cannot have a father. So what parts do the mothers of the children play? Well, firstly, Michelle was born on Dundas Street, Preston, Melbourne, and the distance to the pole, South Pole, 3134 miles, and that 3134 in Greek is Maranatha, the coming divine judgment of Christ. Now, she told me she does not know how she conceived Rihanna, must have swum across the bath, and she was not intimate with her husband. He, a complete arrogant moron, cruel and sadistic, made her life a misery. <laughs> Question is, was it a just reward? Anyhow, Rhiannon was born, asshole is being kind. She too conceived mysteriously, as did Daphne, Daphne, my mother, with me. But why all the suffering I had to endure? Well, it's quite simple. The Catholic idea concerning my mother Mary, immaculate conception, and as we all must return to the earth for judgment, then Mary had to also reincarnate. And as her own conception was divine, no earthly father, since she was conceived within Anna, who was an old woman, and she, Anna, was told by Gabriel, as too was her husband, that at 60 years of age she would give birth, and that was Mary. Who she, and Mary was raised in the temple of Yahweh. It was not Solomon's temple. Solomon was a demon witch. His temple was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar in 586 BC. And it was rebuilt. The temple was rebuilt by the decree of Cyrus and by the holy men returning to Jerusalem. So they rebuilt the temple of Yahweh. And Mary was raised from the age of three years to prepare her spiritually for her own immaculate conception. So Daphne was an immaculate conception. Matter of fact, my father hated me from the day I was born because he knew he could not have been the father because if he had been, it would have been an 11 month pregnancy. And he knew it wasn't him. So he hated me from the day I was born. Mm. But the angels. What's the easy, easy, easy thing, easy thing. Now, Rhiannon uh, conceived and gave birth to Trinity on the 21st of February 2004. Trinity was the reborn soul of my mother Mary. She, as a little girl, said to me one day, I was your mother. You're sure you're right, you know? Yeah. I did not drop hints as what comes out of a baby's mouth is sacred. Now she was 8.8888 years old on my 69th birthday. As for the family of Michelle, her three children were molested by cousins, and Michelle, aware of it, did not prevent it. So via Sodom and Gomorrah, it was necessary for me to seek out the most horrid people to produce children by them, then to find the family that was arranged by angels for me to find. The balance between Sodom and Gomorrah, and heaven and righteousness. The choice of the child is free will and chose evil. The rejection prophecy, they rejected their father to commit the most evil 
atrocities going after the nature of the mother. I call at the open mazare, lay all of the cards on the table, and invite Lucifer to give it its best shot. Nothing will break me in my human form. So, now, of course, this is the example. Not only was Well, I'm setting an example for all the children to come, not the, the, the people that are adults today. They've already been consumed by the church or their bank account or mm. whatever. Mm. Right? That's what not we're looking for. We're looking for people that can become like a small child. This is what Benedict did. And his uh, whole demeanour as a person is like a small child. Mm. Compared to these monsters. Yeah. It's exactly what I want as a person. I'll have the big hammer over the top of him. Don't you worry about that. Nothing get past me. And that's what all children do. They go to their father, who they know will take care of them. Mm -hmm. And if there's something nasty to be dealt with, then leave it to Dad, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They can trust him to protect them. That's what it's all about. Mm. Now, one would think that these proofs would be so overwhelming that all churches would have to make booking for buses to park months in advance. Yet, what do I get? Zero followers. <laughs> Until Mrs. Marshall found me in 2008, March of 30th. So we take the cure of diseases, all diseases, to New Guinea, establish two clinics, threatened by the government, then Fiji, arrested and deported after setting up two clinics there. Why? Eugenics. They want you all dead. Cash in the birth certificate, the straw man bonds, kill as many Christians as possible. Now back to Rio and the trick of Satan to address the children of the world. The distance from the Vatican City to the Jesus statue at Rio is 4,968 nautical miles. The number found in the Revelation 1824, the number 4968, is the word slain. Now, the statue of Rio, measured to the South Pole, is 4023. What does the verse say, though? Can you read that? Uh, oh, Revelation, and in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints, and of all that were slain upon the earth. That's Revelation 18.24. talking about Goglio here. Yeah. So he's the, he's the dude. The representative of it. Yeah. Um, now, the distance to the South Pole from the Rio statue measures 4.023 nautical miles, and that is the number for the word Megiddon from Zechariah 12.11. In that day there shall be a great mourning in Jerusalem as the mourning of Hadarimon in the valley of Megiddon. One Megiddo. verse in the Bible, that's it. Megiddo. So, you know, the whole world is expecting this gathering at Megiddo. Well, we're taking a representative of Sodom and Gomorrah here. Representative of the church. Now, the verse number itself of the Revelation, 1824, is exo, exults, almost like exhaust, but it's not. <laughs> or executes. <laughs> so from that hour, immediately, instantly, straight away. And in Hebrew, it is domi, cutting off from 1820, which means to destroy, be cut down, off, destroy, be brought to silence, be undone utterly. Now, Satan will be 75.604 years old. 756 in Greek is rehearsed from the beginning to commence in order of time. 75.604 is years is 27614 days. And that number 2761 in Hebrew is sharak and means to scorch, to glow, melt, burn, dry up. Now, at this timing of Rio, the alignment of the planets and the measuring of them. So on July 21st at 1300, which is one in the afternoon, but 1300, the distance between these planets of Jupiter, Mars, the Earth, and Pluto, measuring from Mercury, the measuring, sorry, yeah, measuring from the Earth to all these planets, totals 40.74, which in Greek is Peter the Rock. And then at one minute before that, it's, that should be 40, um, you've got 49.74. Well, it, it should be 40.73. Okay. 
one minute before. One minute before is uh, overthrow, ruin. So 1,300 hours in Hebrew means bad eye, lightning, a flashing sword. And in Greek it means accomplish thoroughly. Now as the Jews have overpowered my creation by subterfuge, <coughs> excuse me, subterfuge, few on earth grasp. I, as Jesus, was the Almighty. Back then I spoke of the future when my soul would return as Christ, Yahweh, God Almighty, comforter. Be rejected by all until one man, the Pope Benedict XVI, was born and his papal office established and he would recognise them. Checkmate, Lucifer, game, set and match. And here's a couple of diagrams with measurements. All right, here endeth... Well, there's an L Street address, that's uh, where I was with Mary Magdalene. The four sides total 888 metres. That's done with uh, Magellan GPS handheld uh, satellite tracker. And uh, you see the uh, distance between the two latitudes of New Zealand, 888 miles. And we've got the 3875 miles, which is a comforter, from where I was born. The other one is from 3877, is God, that's from the maternity ward. And the other one is uh, 581. Three, which is the distance in kilometres from the Mill Street address, which is to the right there, with a dot on it, 5813, to the pole, which is the height of the Great Pyramid, with a capstone in place. And that's why I say, checkmate, this is about game, set and match. I'm not, I don't care one iota about the adults. I'm here for the children. Uh, now, can we get a, a busy on that? Oh. There he is. <laughs> Hi, Lucifer, you're a history son. <laughs> the Gog Leo. Gog, there you go. There's a clue. Ah, uh, no, couldn't get it. No, the blue's clue. Alright, Gators. 